So today we're going to be checking out Aiton Bob, the original. And as you can see, it's still in the box. I actually put it back in here because I want to go ahead and show you the full presentation on this one before we jump into the actual review. As you guys know, I'm not a presentation type of guy. I normally don't cover that, but I thought this was really cool. So I'm going to show you. And see, for me, this is what I love so much about niche fragrances. It comes in a sleeve like this. You pull that out. You're left with here and what you're noticing probably is that yes, this looks like a book looks like a book What's cool is you open it up and look at that It is like a legitimate book with the fragrance itself cut out and again This is why I love niche perfumery just the artisticness and creativity of the presentation and of the fragrances themselves is what makes this stuff worth the money and just worth experiencing, honestly. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be checking out Aiton Bob, the original. I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and ultimately, if I think this one is worth picking up. They do have a really cool story behind this one. I will link this down below to Twisted Lily. This is where I got this fragrance from. And on their page for this fragrance, you can read kind of the full backstory behind this one, which is pretty cool. You can go check out their website. I will link it down below. And I do also have a discount code for them. That code is CHAOS10. That will get you 10% off all of your orders over there. Not only will it work with this fragrance, but it'll work with everything. So obviously the more you buy, the more you spend, the more money you're gonna save because of the 10% off. So if you wanna check this fragrance out, that link will be down below along with that discount code. So let's go and start off with how this fragrance smells. Now, when you first spray this one on, personally what I get right up top in the opening is this nice lemon cardamom mixture. It's giving it a bit of a spicy kick and a bit of a freshness. Along with that, a little bit of a violet leaf kick. Now violet leaves, in my opinion, is a very unique note. It's very underutilized. I mean, it's used often, but not nearly as often as something like bergamot or grapefruit, right? Those are notes which are used all the time, especially in top notes, so we're used to that. But this one uses those violet leaves, and it's something that you can smell right away. And for me, that is what distinguishes a fragrance so much, is the use of violet leaves, because it just is a bit cooling, refreshing, and it's just different. So this one opens up primarily fresh and spicy, has a bit of this cooling vibe, like I said, going on. Working into the mid, I get this nice sandalwood, vetiver, amber, kind of ambergris kind of uh, playing on each other kind of dancing around you'll find that this fragrance on your skin just is a bit bright and sparkling while also maintaining some depth which is nice that's a bit interesting it's very bright and refreshing and it's just kind of a bit of a different one you know I've never really smelled anything like this which again is always a plus when you're looking at niche fragrances because you're getting something different and unique here but it also has a bit of a spiciness and a bit of depth as well so it's not just a straight up fresh fragrance that's going to be gone you know in a couple hours you know you can tell there's some substance and some backbone kind of in the base of this one and a lot of that is coming from the ambergris and the vetiver sandalwood in terms of when you can wear this one for me i would see this one as more of a spring fall and summer fragrance. Now summer, you know, depending on how hot and humid it is may not be, you know, the best fragrance for those types of days, but I would say generally through summertime, if it's not too crazy and you're not, you know, doing anything too crazy, sweating too hard outside. This one will work great in the summer, work great in the spring when it's kind of transitional weather. And it'll work great right now in the fall as well, just because it has some of that depth and some of that backbone to work and hold up to some cooler, windier days. In terms of situations within these seasons, I see this one more as more or less a casual scent. This isn't something I would dress up or really wear on a date or an evening out, uh, just because it is primarily a fresher, spicier scent. I see this one as more of during the day, maybe Maybe you're chilling at home, just doing casual stuff, that type of thing is when I see this one used for. You know, this one's very cooling, very bright, very almost uplifting and refreshing to wear. Again, in the spring, in the summertime, when it's a bit warm outside, this one will kind of cool you off. And in the fall, if you're kind of missing summertime a little bit, you can spray this one on and enjoy it in the fall as it's getting cooler, just to kind of flash you back to summertime. In my opinion, this one would also have the depth to hold up in winter as well, although I see it fit more for the seasons of which we mentioned a second ago. So overall, a pretty versatile scent, other than really not being the best for date nights or anything like that. Just about anything else, I see this one work pretty good for. In terms of performance, on my skin, I get about eight, eight and a half to nine hours longevity. Uh, projection wise, it's a moderate projector. It will push kind of outside of my personal bubble and will leave a nice scent trail all around me. 
And it's also worth noting that this fragrance is an eau de parfum concentration, so it is something, you know, with that higher perfume concentration that it will last a bit longer than something like an eau de toilette. Um, a lot of times with an EDP, you may be sacrificing a bit of projection, but I find projection here to be solid and the longevity is really good as well. So a really good performer here all in all, especially for being a more fresh fragrance, you know, kind of fresh and invigorating and bright. It's got really good performance to back it up. Compliment wise, this is going to be a really good compliment getter. I actually had my girlfriend check this one out when I first got it and she loved it. She said it was really good and surprisingly, this is one where she said she would wear it as well. So that I found that to be kind of an interesting comment. Obviously, she doesn't say that with everything that I have her smell, but this one she really liked. She th thought it smelled really good. She gave me a compliment when I wore it and she, like I said, even said that she would wear it on herself. And when I smell this one, I could potentially see this one being unisex. It would smell great on a man or a woman. Quality wise, this is a really high quality scent. Again, you are paying a bit of a higher price for this one, which by the way, you can get this fragrance on Twisted Lily. This is where I got this bottle. They actually were kind enough to send it out to me for free just so I could do my full review on it and share it with you guys. And I do have a code for them. That code is CHAOS10. That will get you 10% off of your orders over there. So you can use this not just for this fragrance, but for everything over there. And obviously, the more you buy, the more that 10% off will add up and save you more money. Great quality. It is what I would expect from a niche brand, and I don't have any complaints there. So to go ahead and start to wrap this one up, my final thoughts on Aiton Bob, the original. I really like this fragrance. I think it's great. I love the presentation. I love the smell. I love the story behind it. The quality is great. Performance is great. All in all, this is a really good niche fragrance. If you're wanting to get into niche fragrances, check something like this out. It's very wearable. It's very fresh. It's still going to be mass appealing. It's nothing like too crazy that you're not going to like it. I would say this one would be blind by safe for most of you out there who are into, you know, kind of fresher, spicier scents. So if you guys have tried Eight and Bob, the original, let me know what you think down below. That's pretty much going to do for me, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.